Denver's certified most accurate four zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. That's what happens when you can't have nice things. People don't follow the rules and then everybody has to abide yeah. by something like that. So is today the 22nd or the Today would be the first day in 22 days. It's not going to be triple digits, right? Yeah, so yesterday made 23 straight days at wow. 100 degrees, but we're going to break that streak today because I am not forecasting 100 degrees <laughs> Well, today. that's just a reason to celebrate. <laughs> I would say so. Plus, we could pick we up about rain. half an inch to an <laughs> inch of rainfall. I just want to know if it's getting rain. Yes. Maybe 150 if it rains. We are going to get some rain. Maybe not at your house, David. Um, rain chance pretty high, though, and we should see those uh, better chances of rain around midday. Uh, yesterday's high temperature ranged between 103 and 105, officially at the airport 105. Let's talk about Harold. Yes, this is going to bring in some cooler air and some rainfall. It's a tropical storm. It did uh, become a tropical storm overnight. It is moving to the west northwest at 18 miles an hour, winds at 45 miles an hour. Here's the forecast track from the National Hurricane Center. Has it making landfall uh, over deep south Texas later this morning? As a tropical storm and then it's going to weaken once it pushes over land. Still expected to produce some very heavy rainfall though over uh, portions of the Rio Grande. Clouds and radar picture. It's mostly cloudy for now. Starting to see though some sprinkles along the coastal bend. We'll see that moisture continue to push inland as that center of circulation gets closer to Texas. There is a tropical storm warning that continues from Referio to Corpus Christi and down towards Brownsville. This means that tropical storm force conditions Conditions are likely talking wind gusts up over 50 miles an hour and a storm surge of about one to three feet. That is a tropical storm watch. With the warning, of course, conditions are more favorable for tropical storm force conditions. All right, uh, cut right landscaping weather camera. All is quiet at the moment, 84 degrees, mostly cloudy. Feels like it's 88, dew point up to 70. Air temperatures, we are seeing a lot of 80s on the map. 70s, though, up in Bernie, Kerrville, and down towards Uvalde. The ridge of high pressure anchored farther north. As a result, we're getting that area of low pressure, that tropical storm to come in from the Gulf of Mexico. Still seeing some moisture out west that's associated with what was tropical storm Hillary. Uh, we are going to see the clouds increase from east to west, and the rain will also push westward. Uh, notice that by about 8 o'clock in the morning, we'll start to see some heavy downpours along the coastal bend, some of those showers reaching Goliad County and McMullen County. We will see the outer rain bands reaching I-10 and coming into San Antonio. Best chance of rain after lunchtime up until about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's for San Antonio, but notice that from the morning, through midday, drenching downpours from LaSalle County to McMullen County, including Dimmit County and Maverick County. And by about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, by the time you pick the kids up from school, expecting some pockets of heavy rainfall. Uh, things calm down uh, later on in the evening, and then we still could see some residual moisture tomorrow in the morning, allowing for maybe a shower or two to pop up. And then tomorrow in the afternoon, still some widely scattered uh, showers and possibly even a thunderstorm or two. It is going to be hot and dry again with sunshine on Thursday. There is a marginal risk for severe weather. Any thunderstorm that develops will have to watch closely because it could create a spin up or two and also could create some brief uh, high winds. Rainfall forecast this computer model now giving us about an inch of rain here in San Antonio, close to an inch and a half, two inches over southwest Bear County. And our southern counties could get a tall drink of water from this three plus inches of rain. It is going to get windy. At at 10 o'clock in the morning, expecting a gust here of 25 miles an hour, over 30 miles an hour in the eastern zone, and it's going to be very windy throughout the afternoon and early evening. Winds will gradually subside from east to west late tonight through tomorrow morning. So here's your Tuesday forecast. 10% rain chance for the morning commute, and then we'll see that rain chance increase as we go through the day. 60% after lunchtime until about 3 p.m., and then that rain chance drops to 30% by about 5, 6 o'clock in the evening. Here's your extended forecast. Forecast, forecast high of 94. Some computer models are indicating up to 98. Tomorrow, a 20% rain chance, 98. 102 Thursday, we're back over 100 degrees going into the weekend with an isolated shower possible once again this weekend.